they are overseeing the implementation of Common Core. Now, one of them spends her days posting on Facebook and tweeting about how great these standards are and arguing with us. Um, I don't know when she's teaching the Common Core, but that's what she's doing during her school day. But they're not doing ARI and AMSTI. ARI was number one in the nation in fourth through eighth grade reading gains, <coughs> and AMSTI was number two in the nation in gains in math. They've been tossed aside for a set of untested, unproven, federally mandated experimental standards. <coughs> this is what's coming next. This is uh, from what Glenn Beck put up on the show that I was on, on data mining. Um, from their own booklet put out in February of this year, which is called Promoting Grit, Tenacity, and Perseverance. You have to look hard to find it, but it's there. Um, best way to do is just Google for the book. Don't go to the Department of Ed's website. I have one with you. Oh, okay. Um, but if you want to get a copy and download it, the best way to do is Google it. But Ann says she has one. This is a statement about collecting psychological data from your children. Behavioral task performance measures are the broad set of methods used to capture behaviors consistent with perseverance or lack thereof, and in many cases, associated emotional experiences, physical movements or facial expressions, and physiological responses and thoughts. And this is how they're going to record those. This is from an actual tutoring program that some schools are using. This is on page 44, and that's the picture of the show that I was on of Glenn Beck showing those things. They, these instruments include facial expression camera, which is the first one next to him. The next one is a posture analysis chair, a pressure mouse, which determines their level of agitation and frustration when they're working at the computer. And this last one just drives my husband insane. A 24 hour a day skin sensor rich wristband that goes on the child and stays there all the time and collects emotional data from them all the time. It's coming. They are on their way, even in Alabama. Students are already doing health initiatives where they have had to wear full-time pedometers. They have done UN surveys and health initiatives. One parent, I actually took it with me to Glenn Beck and, and they had it ready to go on, but we didn't have time to discuss it. It was from the United Nations uh, Environmental Programs. It was put out through the U.S. Department of Education into schools. This was done in a Jefferson County school. <laughs> it asks questions about your eating habits at home. It also asks questions like, can you control overeating? This is for second grader. Can you control overeating by controlling your feelings? I talked to the psychologist about this. He said that was totally inappropriate and not something that second graders really understand. Um, the next phase that's coming is student progress tracking through programs such as In Bloom and e Scholars My Track. These are for placing them on a career track or a workforce track starting in elementary school. The companies say it's for the child to choose the career. It's for the workforce to identify children and what they need to go into. You could go into either one of these uh, websites, In Bloom or e Scholar, and see samples of their programs. My Track makes it sound so wonderful but look at it for what it's really doing. Initiatives of the P20 Council, which is part of that Smarter Balanced uh, Consortia out of UCLA, uh, Alabama has contracted with them and with Dr. Rob Robert Edelman out of UCLA. They have all of these things which are coming already into place in Alberta Elementary, which is being rebuilt as a performing arts school in Tuscaloosa. It was destroyed by the tornado. It's coming with um, the whole village concept. Going to have a health clinic for the entire family, legal services, counseling, social workers to go into the home. They're going to let that whole village raise the children. Also in the records they're going to be putting in um, 
legal records, justice records, um, arrest records, discipline records, all of this is going to be tracked and collected. Also in Tuscaloosa, another school destroyed by the tornado is implementing the STEAM curriculum, which is an offshoot of STEM. The A stands for arts, as in graphic arts, because they're going to be, they've already partnered with Mercedes and Shelton State, tracking students to go into the workforce. It'll move with those kids from elementary to middle to high school. And the instruction is for the purpose of identifying workforce needs and tracking them into those jobs. The next phase and the ultimate plan of all of this is not a conspiracy theory. It's out there if you go look for it. Is to tie Department of Labor records with Justice Department records, with Health and Human Service records, with U.S. Department of Education records. Don't believe me? Look at this one. The next phase that has just been released of the Race to the Top grants, and I don't remember the exact amount of money that's being offered, <coughs> is for the Early Learning Initiative, with funding being dangled to states once again. This, is an, this initiative is developed and will be tracked through the U.S. Department of Education and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. They will be, P is pre-birth, tracking children from prenatal care through their mothers and their medical records, to at-home visits, social workers, nurses, all monitoring the growth and development of that child and then putting them into an early learning center uh, for pre-K education. <coughs> we must have a standard for Alabama education that ranks at a high place across the nation. The federal standard set by Common Core is not a high standard. It is based on creating an equal playing field. To do so, we must lower the standard to the middle level and bring top students down in hopes of bringing bottom students up. As a teacher, I always told my students that fair does not always mean equal. When it comes to children, fair is what is in the best interest of each one individually. I dealt with every single child on a one-to-one -one basis. And when my little eighth graders would say, but Miss Harris, that's not fair. I'd say, we're not talking about you. When you have a need, I'll deal with you based on what you need. And they always appreciated the fact that I was willing to work with them on a one-to-one -one basis and take care of their needs and be there for them, that I loved them and I cared for them and that I wanted them to be successful. Teachers need that freedom. With Common Core, there is no freedom. They can't teach them an alternate way of doing it. And the needs of special needs students are not going to be addressed. Teachers need the freedom and flexibility to serve every child individually, to help them overcome obstacles and to strive for excellence. For no child is mediocre good enough. The Common Core State Standards Initiative would better be described as a very costly race to the middle. I don't know if everyone got the handout of how to contact legislators. If you didn't, it's up here for you to write down. There's some more no, over there. No, no, no. I got the name, state, okay. House. Let me give you some news. After Senator Del Marsh motioned that it be voted and approved to move on to the Rules Committee, today he tried to shut it down. He says it's too important to make a decision with only eight legislative days gone, so we won't vote on it this year. We need to blow up his phones, his email, his home address, his home phone number, his personal business number. You need to call him and say, it is too important not to. Next year we'll be given the test. Next year we'll be in Common Core for Language Arts. Science is coming out. We've already gotten a grant to implement the science standards. Dr. Bice personally told us in front of those legislators at the subcommittee hearing, when we asked him, the, the ladies from uh, Alabamians United for Excellence in Education, they told him that we called and asked if the standards, we called the CCSO, 
the CCSSO, the NGA, and Achieve Incorporated and ask them if a state that adopts the standards can change them in any way or delete any of them. They blatantly told us no. You must implement them as written and you can add only up to 15%, but they will not be tested on um, <clears throat> national assessments. We, we discourage you from using them. You must implement the standards as written and you have adopted the standards. Dr. Bice turned to us when we told him what they said to us and said, now remember, they own the copyright. The standards belong to them. He said, they are incorrect. Now, if that's not an out and out lie or real stupidity, one, I don't know which. But when he says they don't know what they're talking about, about something that is their property, then, then you know that he's not telling the truth. Exactly. So, Del Marsh first, tell him that we want it on the floor for a vote. Do not kill it at this late stage that it is next year is too late. It is too important to wait. Secondly, contact all those other legislators, especially the House members. It's supposed to come up. It's not as good a bill, and what we're hoping is that we can merge or substitute the Senate bill for the House bill, but we don't have the strength in the House that we do in the Senate. But one senator doesn't need to kill it when we've got this much strength behind it. It is too important. Also, you need to go to, if you have not already done it, I didn't put the direct link on there because you, you really can't use it unless you're on a computer because it's so long. But go to www.change.org and in the search bar, just enter Alabamians United for Excellence in Education and hit search. It will bring up, the first one is just identifies us as a group. The second one says Alabama legislature pass bills to repeal Common Core. Click on that link. Now, it may ask you to sign some liberal petitions. Ignore it. Change.org makes their money by advertising. For some reason, liberal groups seem to have money to advertise that the rest of us don't have. Ignore the liberal. Okay. Um, ignore that, but sign it and leave your comments and then share it with everyone you know. Send them an email and say, please go to this link and sign. This week, we need to blow that petition up. It was heavy to begin with, and now it slowed down, and then it got heavy again. We, we need several thousand more signatures this week. If you need uh, additional information, you can go to uh, www.auee.org or stopcommoncore.com.